Second Exodus chapter nine and verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the sign pass, which I t have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. That Barak Day Hawa, Barak Day Hawa Sha, Barak Day Hawa, Barak Day Hawa Sha, Barak Day Hawa, Barak Day Hawa Sha. Wanna get all honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders, of great millstone. Rule well, been a great example to the younger brothers and the truth, and peace and blessings to the whole flu lick. And Lord willing, this is edified. And we're gonna get up into this lesson, man. You know, got the video here, man, so we're gonna get into it. Pues allí donde yo me encontraba se escuchó una explosión que hizo temblar las, uh, las ventanas del de lugar en donde, en donde me encontraba. Eh, yo traté de abrir y mirar qué era lo que había sucedido, si de pronto había algún sonido de, de sirena, eh, de, de algún tipo de ambulancia, pero nada. Así que los parisinos lo que hicieron también fue preguntar en las redes sociales qué es lo que había With all the smoke in the air, plenty of people were justifiably nervous when a loud boom shook West Vancouver just before noon today. A Vancouver Fire Department spokesperson says it was likely a propane bottle that hadn't been properly drained and ended up in a shredder at Pacific Coast Shredding on Portway at the Port of Vancouver. A swarm of earthquakes near the Salton Sea continues today and could continue for several days. We have video from... And the Salton Sea is about the Andreas fault line. Let's keep going in this, um, um, in 2nd Exodus 9 and verse 3. It reads, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars in the earth, I mean, in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all things, for like as all that is made is ma is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings, and wonder, and and wonder, and powerful works and ending and effects and signs. In Westmoreland, where the quakes are centered. There were 28 quakes from 11 p.m. last night through 10 this morning, ranging in magnitude 2.5 to 3.6. The USGS recorded the first quakes around 4 yesterday afternoon. During this earthquake swarm, the probability of larger quakes in that area is significantly greater than usual. Breaking news live at 6. Dozens of earthquakes now continuing to rattle the area just south of the Salton Sea. Some people in the valley now feeling some of that shaking. In fact, the largest, a 4.9 earthquake happening in just the last half hour. The swarm of hundreds of earthquakes continue to rattle those who live south of the Salton Sea in Imperial County, the largest yet measuring in at 4.9. Now an expert says aftershocks or even a larger quake could be felt in weeks to come. Hundreds of small earthquakes rattled Westmoreland homes Wednesday afternoon. But they were constant. They were like every 10, 15 minutes. Some were like little ones, but there was some that like really shook the house. Lopez says she had to take down her picture frames. We break all the frames down. Uh, in our rooms, you'll see all the picture frames down. Dozens of those shakes range from 2.5 to 4.9 magnitude, just southeast of the Salton Sea. Seismologist expert Dr. Lucy Jones explains that this is very common for that area and aftershocks could last for a month in Imperial County, increasing the probability for a larger one. The chance of a, a five, um, five plus at the same location where this swarm is going on um, is, is relatively high. And they say it's uh, something that always happens, <laughs> but earthquakes ain't just something normal that just supposed to happen all the time, causing destruction and that. Hey, man, the Lord doing these things, man. Fuck what Esau talking about.
This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 3. And he and he sat upon the Mount of Olives, and his disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall be shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? And of the end of the world. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, or Hamashiach, the anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. You know, so he says it's going to be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in diverse places. And these just the beginning of sorrows, man. And earthquakes are happening all over the place, man. You know, they happen. It's an um, app or something like that. You can go on the track with all earthquakes. I guarantee you it's uh, been a thousand earthquakes damn near to happen this month already, man. You know, <laughs> and it's the beginning of a month, you know, I think, if I ain't mistaken. But it is what it is, man. We in, hey, we in the times of the end. Lord gave, told us, you know, he said, measure the time diligently, man. There shall be seen up earthquakes and uproar, then shall that well, well understand. That's the very same time that the most I spake of, man. You know? But our people, they don't want to, they don't want to take heed to nothing, man. You know? <laughs> they think creepy, freaky Joe gonna save them, man. A fucking pedophile, man. A a a Edomite pedophile, fucking white man, man. These people can't save you, man. These motherfuckers trying to kill you off, man. You know, but hey, it is what it is, man. The deceived and the deceiver belong to you. How about show me how it's that, man? You know. Dr. Jones says it's less likely to impact the San Andreas Fault. It's too far away. None of us are looking at the San Andreas as a uh, um, likely trigger point on this. Although Desert Hot Springs had two earthquakes last week near the San Andreas Fault, the risk is still very low. Today's quakes come after about 20 small quakes since mid-August. One theory has to do with the makeup of the ground along the fault. Several viewers emailed asking if this means the big one could come soon. Westmoreland is not part of the San Andreas or Imperial Fault, but Abbott says it's impossible to know. It's always a possibility that this Ooh. might unstabilize or destabilize and cause one of those to move. But history tells us that these swarms are usually unique events. Did you see it? It didn't last long, but it was bright. A large fireball burning in the... Now that probably was a, uh, a meteor there. That wasn't a cherry, because cherry make they say, you know... <laughs> This Acts chapter 2 and 19, I will shoot wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor, vapor of smoke, you know. So the Lord said he's going to show wonders in the heavens above. In the sky early this morning. A flash of light zooms across the sky over parts of Pennsylvania and Ohio. A witness capturing the streak of light on video as it passed across Pennsylvania. Whoa, anybody see that flash of light? Something just came streaking across the sky. It's all anyone's been talking about. And now we are learning more about that bright flash across the sky. Social media was glowing with sightings of that giant meteor on the East Coast all day. In fact, there were over 700 reports from 15 states. So we asked the expert today, why was this one so big and so bright? Sometimes they're very small, and I mean small. Just think. Smaller than a grain of rice, smaller than a piece of sand will light up. And you got all these experts, you know, coming and answering questions. But guess what? Ain't none of them using the scriptures, man. You know? Why? Because they not men of the Lord. These people are not people of these damn experts. These Edomites, first and foremost, you know. None of these people, they don't believe in the scriptures, man. Nobody refers back to the scriptures when it come down to all the shit that's happening on earth. Nobody go back to the scriptures like, yep, the Lord mad. You know what I'm saying? Yep, we in the time of the end. Yep, this, 
This this is the time of the end. The Lord is finna return. Nobody do that, man. But the men of the Lord, man. We let you know straight up. Look, hey, this is it, man. The Lord is finna destroy America, Babylon the Great. He finna destroy NATO and the EU. He finna destroy um China. He finna destroy Russia. Hey, the scriptures say, the, matter of fact, and Obadiah say the day of the Lord, I just quoted, the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, man. You know? <laughs> that's, that, that's what we see, man. The, and the day of the Lord is the return of, of, of the Messiah, man, the Son of God, man. The only begotten, man. Yahweh Shad, man, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. That's the, that's the day of the Lord. And what he say? Matter of fact, let me go back to Matthew. What what did the the disciples ask? They said in in uh, Matthew twenty four and three, it say, and he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, "Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming?" He already there with them. What coming? The second coming, man. You know, his second coming, not the first coming. He there with them. That's that's the first coming. You know, what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? What world? Esau world, man. Let's get that. <laughs> so like, let's get it, man. Oh, second, uh, yeah, second is it is chapter six, man. You know, since we brought it up, let's get it, man. Second Exodus chapter six and verse seven. Then answer I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times, or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born, of him Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So Esau is the end of the world. Let's go back to Matthew, Salakia. And Matthew, you say, um, and verse 3, it say, um, in the middle, it say, And what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? What world? Esau's world, man. <laughs> you know? That's the that's the end of, of this age, and it, it ain't talking about the actual world, like the world going to blow up and, you know, going to have to build it all, like, reform the world. No, man. Esau finna be taken out of power. This the end of his age, man. This the end of his rule, man. You know? That's why this nigga trying to implement uh, vaccines and chips, man. You know, he trying to go with a new world order. He going with his move because he know this it, man. You know? I had another one, but I forgot it. So we're going to keep going. The sky, it's amazing. And in this case, it was probably a rock, maybe smaller than the size of my palm of my hand here. The cloud glowed uh, that it left behind, glowed for about 30 seconds. That's how, that's how hot it was. As far as the landing, Reynolds predicts the meteor's journey ended somewhere south of Youngstown. Major rescue operation unfolding in Tasmania this morning. Hundreds of pilot whales stranded in Macquarie Heads on the state's west coasts. Awful look at, isn't it? It's a depressing sight. A pod of pilot whales, some 500 strong, trapped on the western shore of Tasmania. Despite two days of a difficult and dangerous rescue attempt, most are already dead and only a few dozen have been freed. Conservationists say it's worth the effort. The ones who make it out will thrive in the wild. Our focus is obviously on the rescue of live individuals at the moment. Um, in the back of our minds is always what happened, what happened here. Um, typically we don't get any answers. Although we don't know why mass beachings happen, one key factor appears to be the way... See, they say now, no, you know, and, and the reason these animals do this, man, because, hey, <laughs> the rulers who rule the earth fucking everything up, man. They got shit out of whack, man. You know, they destroying the earth, man. So lucky, let's get it. Well, come on, man. This, um, this Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 5, it reads, The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because 
they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. Man. Yeah, the earth is defiled under the inhabitants of who? Because the earth was given into who? Esau, Edom. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked, man. You know, we not. It ain't defiled under the heavens of the Israelites. It's defiled under the inhabitants of you, you damn devils, man. You know, you changed laws. You broke the everlasting, the ordinances. You, I mean, you, you transgressed the laws. You changed the ordinance and broke the everlasting covenant. And, and you steady doing wicked shit, man. Polluting the water. Because once you go into that word defiled, let's go get it in the um, blue letter. Defiled. Strong's H2610. Hanaf. Hanaf. Whatever it say. Hanaf. But it say to be profane, be defiled, be polluted, be corrupt. Yeah. To be polluted. And the earth is polluted, man. That's why these animals beaching themselves, man. Killing themselves, man. It say to be profane, be godless. Yeah, Esau is a godless man. He's a godless individual, man. He he know God real, but he, at the same time, he feel like he God, man. This nigga think he's special, man. The Lord finna fuck these people up, man. And all our people who don't want to repent and come back to you, how about show me how shy? Hey, man, you might as well <laughs> jump off a, 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 a pier in the deepest abyss, man. Let me stop. But, yeah, you might as well kill yourself, man, you know. Because the Lord's going to do it when he return, you know. Especially if you ain't, you know, trying to repent. You ain't trying to get yourself together. You know, you ain't seeking the Lord early while he may be found. And our people ain't studying the Lord, man. They they could give two dams about anything, man. These people don't care about shit, man. But they got damn self, man. You know. But. Hey, the Lord finna come back and fuck some shit up, man. I'm gonna read verse six in this. I'm gonna just read the whole thing of um, Matthew 24 and verse five. It reads, I'm gonna read to verse six. It say, the earth is defiled, defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left yeah the inhabitants of the earth is going to be burned and only few men going to be left man you know ultimately we know the elite is going to be left but it's going to be people on the other side um, and there ain't going to be nobody left in America if you in America and you don't get delivered by, by way of those chariots you might as well kiss your ass goodbye, man. Fucking big ass book. Huh? You might as well kiss your ass goodbye, man, because you're going to be done. You're going to get the same faith as Esau Edom, man. And and, and them missiles going to hit other places, like the land of Israel. They're going to hit uh, places like France and um, a few may hit Russia, you know. A uh, few going to hit um, uh, Germany. You know, if you going to hit China, Japan, hey, man, missiles going to be hitting all over the goddamn place, man. You know, but the the majority, the the main, the mass majority of the motherfuckers going to come straight to Babylon the Great, man. You know, because they try to make like, oh, they only got this, this country got this many missiles and that country got that many missiles. That'd be a dumbass thing. Now you, <laughs> come on now. You ain't going to tell nobody what you possess, how many weapons you got, what kind of weapons you got, all what you... No, man, you ain't going to tell them a damn thing, man. You know? I know if... Then, if that's the case, I know if I can shoot down this, this many missiles, <laughs> I got them because they going to run out of missiles. No, man, these people is mass creating ICBM missiles, man. They ain't slack not a moment, man. They've been creating them motherfuckers since the first Cold War, man. And they still got all them old atomic bombs, all that shit getting shot off, man. All they did was put different um 
what they call different thrusters on them hoes, man. Whatever they call that shit, different rockets, so to speak. A different propulsion system on them nuclear heads, them atomic bomb heads. Hey, that shit getting used, man. Because the only way you can get rid of it is to use it, man. Let's go to something else. Because the earth is defiled under the habits of these fucking devils, man. And they got to pay for this shit, man. This Psalms 82 and verse 5, it say, they know not. I'm going to read verse 4. It reads, deliver the poor and needy, rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Who is the wicked? The so-called white man, Esau, Edom. You know, the earth was given into their hand. They covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who are the ultimate judges of the earth, man? You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. The Israelites that the Bible speak of, man. And ultimately, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. You know? <laughs> Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Those are the judges of the earth, man. You know? The Lord say all judgment was given unto the sun, man. You know? <laughs> so what color did they paint uh, Yahweh Shai? White. What color did they paint the Lord? White. What color did they, uh, so-called white, because they not white. Red. You know, what color did they paint the angels? Red, man. Looking like them, man. You know? Verse 5, it say, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth or out of course. And that's why these animals killing themselves and shit, man. We got fish dying, birds falling out the sky. Because everything got a fucking course, man. Everything in the earth, <laughs> hey, it's a circle of life, man. The earth is a living organism, man. And all the, all the animals, all the different things that's in the earth make everything, you know. Hey, if you take one thing, what well, I forgot how they what they call it. Damn. I was just thinking about it. If you take one thing out of the um the ecosystem, that's what it's called. Hey, you fucking the whole ecosystem up. You mass killing off wolves. You mass killing off tigers. You mass killing off elephants. You poaching this. You poaching that. You fishing all the different kind of fish. You know, you pulling all the shrimp out the water. All these different things. You fucking up the ecosystem, man. You know? Putting chemicals in the air. Killing the birds. God, you doing all this shit. Shooting nuclear or uh, ICBMs in the ocean, man. You fucking up the ecosystem, man. You know? Therefore, you got to pay for this shit, man. You fucked everything up. That's why they beaching themselves. And, and you got Esau want to be act surprised like he don't know what the fuck going on. Bitch, you know what's going on, man. Don't act stupid now. You damn devils. We know you low-level Edomites don't know what's going on, but these fucking top devils, these devils know what's going on, man. This um Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 16, it read, um, let me pull this whole chapter up. This is Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 15. Yeah, I started 15. It say, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and their works are in dark. And they see who and they say who seeth us and who knoweth us. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say unto him that made it, He made me not. Or shall the thing frame say unto him that framed it, he had no understanding? Yeah, and that's how Esau feels. Hey, the Lord, the what the Lord got set up, that that ain't that ain't good, you know. Men can be um men if you were born a boy, a male, you can change, you can be a woman if that's what you feel in your heart, man. You putting that vibration on people to even think like that, man. No, you should execute the judgment that said the Lord. If a motherfucker want to be gay, guess what? You finna get put your ass to death, man. I bet you people won't be, it won't be as many gay people in the earth as it is, man. You know, all this gay shit on TV, you, you swaying people, man, through your witchcraft, man. 
You basically hypnotizing motherfuckers, man, to do shit they doing, man. You hypnotizing people to be drug dealers. You hypnotizing people to be um, witches and warlocks, man. You hypnotizing people to dis um, be disobedient to you. How about shit? How was shy, man? You know, you're not enforcing the laws, statutes, and commandments. You 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 make it, telling people no, do what you want to do, man. You know. The Lord don't care. The Lord loves everybody, man. You know? You hypnotizing people with that soft shit, man. The Lord ain't about all that, man. The Lord is a man of war, man. That's why this earth finna go out so violent. It's gonna be worse than the 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 worst scary movie you ever seen. You think goddamn um uh, insidian and all these old other crazy demonic movies when damn demons and shit um pop out with something. Hey, wait till the Lord get going let them apparitions and shit loose, man. You know, you think the ring, you know, let me stop. Damn ring and all these other different it's a lot more called what that shit called? Devil and all kind of all these demonic moves. You think that shit was scary. Wait till the Lord get loose, man. You know, the Lord finna get loose on you, on you people, man. You know, watch. Just, just watch. You know, he's showing you the signs, man. He's just beginning to serve. It's gonna get bad, man. You know, all them different moves. Anaconda and all that old crazy shit. Monsters and shit. Goddamn come out. Wait till these newly created beasts come out, man. You people finna see. Hey, the Lord ain't no joke, man. He not no passive type of guy. He ain't no love it, this and that, kisses and her. No, man. Blood and guts, man. When you think about your high bus, shim, your high shot, that's what you need to be thinking about. Blood and guts. Yeah. <laughs> what he gonna do to me, goddamn? That's what you supposed to be thinking about, because that's what we think about. If we don't do what that says the Lord, what the Lord going to uh, do to me? Uh, a lot of these fucking devils to do to me, man. You know? And my people right in front of my face, man. For my disobedience, man. I'd rather the Lord let them do what they do to me in obedience. So, hey, the Lord, because hey, if it happen like that, it's the Lord allowing it to happen and it's going to be mercy shown. <laughs> but any other way around, it ain't going to be no mercy shown, man. For disobedience, you ain't going to have no mercy, man. The, the Lord says, show no mercy to them that have shown no mercy. And two-thirds of our people, they don't show mercy, man. They don't They don't know. They don't understand the scriptures. They don't need no judgment, man. They don't know the Lord, man. The Lord ain't going to show no mercy to you niggas, man. If you don't repent, he ain't. And if you fall out the truth, he ain't going to show no mercy to you, man. Because you knew the Lord's will and you didn't do it, man. You hid your talents in the napkin, man. When the going got tough, you were nowhere to be found, man. Males tight social cohesion. The bond between them is so strong that even once rescued, many turn around and beach themselves again. See, that that's fucked up. <laughs> the way of like, man, fuck this shit, man. Goddamn, my wife just died. <laughs> I'm finna go beach myself, goddamn. My children up there dead, goddamn. These people fucking the earth up, man. Hey, the Lord said, matter of fact, let me go get that in Revelation. The Lord say, destroy him that destroyed the earth, man. The whale's like, fuck this shit, man. I'd rather goddamn die. Start to try this shit over, you know. But the, hey, this not gonna be happening in our king. Ain't gonna be no whale beaching itself, man. Everything in existence gonna be being fruitful and multiplying. Ain't nobody gonna be killing none of that. You know, ain't no whales and animals ain't gonna be killing themselves. You know, cause they tired of this shit. Tired of their plastic in the water. Tired of goddamn um breathing, um breathing in the goddamn radiation and oil and hey, ain't none of that shit gonna be happening in the kingdom, man. Let me find this precept. This Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18, it reads, And the nations were angry, and the wrath is, and thy wrath is come. The wrath of who? You how about show me how shy? In the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and thou shouldest give reward unto the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and the only ones who can fear the names of Yahweh, who will fear the names of Yahweh, show me how shy. 
is is um you Israelites, man, and ultimately the elect. It says small and great and should have destroyed them which destroyed the earth. Yeah, he's a whole sh- shit is finna be destroyed, man. The elites, they gonna come out they bunkers and, and, and they going straight in the chains. You the damn Chinese more bites, they going in the chains. They China ain't next up, man. Russia ain't next up, man. All these people finna go into hardcore bondage, man. Under the you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Hebrew Israelites, man. They are going to be our servants, man. You know? All these the damn Hamites, so-called Africans, all these people finna go into slavery, man. Because the Lord is pissed off. He say, he, he, what he say? Um, the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, man. And two-thirds of our people, your ass in trouble too, man. You a heathen as well, man. You know? The reasons potentially might be is because they're wanting to return back to the pod. They might hear the acoustics or the vocalizations or the sounds that the others are making, or they're just disorientated in this case, extremely stressed. In other news, high winds in California. Yeah, because East are ruling. They stress the fuck out, man. You stress the damn animals out, man. You're not fit to rule. That's why the scriptures say uh, women shall rule, uh, children are their oppressors, and women shall rule over them. A child just. You, you pay attention to a child <laughs> and pay attention to a damn animal when a child playing with an animal. This animal like, man, get your head back, you know. I love you, but shit, you been aggravating. Dog trying to get away, cat trying to get away, damn baby and grab the damn dog by the tail of the cat, got damn choking the cat, throwing, you know. Hey, that's how a child <laughs> handle the animals, man, for real. California's wine country are whipping up that already devastating wildfire out there. Multiple wildfires in California. The glass fire has burned more than 58,000 acres since it started Sunday. Fires have destroyed 26 times more land in the state this year than last. The blazes have destroyed property and forced many more people from their homes. The only the latest in a series of wildfires that have caused chaos in the past few weeks. The state of emergency in Northern California's wine country triggered just as hundreds of homes go up in flames and more than 20,000 are still under threat, with three major fires now converging into one monster blaze. Driving through Yosemite National Park, a convoy fleeing the flames. Rangers leading the way as a number of tourists had to be evacuated. It looked like a fairly perilous trip, dark clouds above burning trees never far away. This is just one of a series of fires burning through central. Them dark cloud, what are those? Pillars of smoke, man. You know? There ain't no damn cloud, that's smoke. Yeah, smoke clouds. And Northern California. High temperatures, precious little rain. It is a dangerous combination. Mother Nature is something that we don't try to guess. And ain't no such thing as Mother Nature. It's Yahweh. Goddamn, who doing these things, man? Let's get it, man. Yeah, how about show me how shy executing on you people, man? On the behalf of the elect, man. This uh, Isaiah 29 and 6, it say, Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Yeah, and that's what you people seeing over there in California, man. Earthquake and the flames of devouring fire, man. That's what you're seeing, man. It's a race against time and the elements. The increasingly hot, windy weather is giving the glass fire everything it needs to grow. With nearly 19,000 firefighters on the front lines across California, exhausted crews are still battling five of the six largest infernos in state history. Newly released video shows the magnitude of the battle. This is what firefighters are seeing. Dry- that shit ain't lit up yet. And all the little series that did, did, uh, he measured the time diligently in itself <laughs> for the last past month. Goddamn, them fires fucking shit up over there, man. And the Lord say, well, will he if it already be kindled, man? You know, and this fire burning all over, man. It ain't just in California. Fire burn, burning in Arizona, those states next to it as well. And in, in different countries, man. 
driving through a flame-filled landscape where homes are already fully engulfed by fire, creating red-hot pools along the roadside. To give you a bit more perspective, over the summer there's been 44,000 wildfires across the West that have eaten up more than 7.1 million acres. This nightmare, a new reality in an unrelenting fire season. And with more hot weather on the way, the danger is still present. Finally, you may be noticing the sunlight hours are starting to decrease each day. And, you know and finally, you may be noticing the sunlight hours are starting to decrease each day. And you know what that means? No, not that winter is coming. I'm talking about good news here. It's sunset season and yeah, they are not disappointing. We love this time of year. The quality of light changes. It gets more yellow and the shadows get sharper. We get incredible sunsets in the Pacific Northwest and they always make you feel good. So take note and make it a point to get outside, take it all in and appreciate the natural beauty of this place we call home. That Lord willing, this will edifying to the next time. I want to say shalom, call me Ashallah, and blah blah blah. So, like, I want to get out and in glory once again to you. How will by Shem, you have a shy by Shem, a cockadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders. A great millstone rule will have been a great example to the young brothers and the truth. And with that, I want to say shalom, call me Ashallah, and a blah blah blah, man. Shalom.